So my name is Kiahi Seymour. Uh, I'm the sole inventor and founder of the Bionic Boot. Uh, I, I gear it as the transportation of the future. Uh, I've made it to make our human run faster and jump higher. So initially I was inspired at a young age by fast land animals and the way they store energy in their tendons. Uh, I wanted to replicate that in the human locomotion and these rubber tension springs here uh, store energy in each stride and release you giving you a longer stride length and a better energy recoil with each, each stride. So at the moment uh, I'm jogging about 15 miles an hour, topping out between 20-25 miles an hour. Eventually, I'd like to run at 45, the same speed as an ostrich, uh, by using methods of uh, either servos or pneumatic powered, some uh, natural extension or uh, powered means. So the bands themselves, in true maker fashion, uh, made them from spear gun tubing, and then have to fashion the different extensions and bolt every component together, uh, specifically adapted for the user's weight and also the speed cadence as you run along. So they can be adjusted for the different bounce height. If you want to jog in speed, it's longer, or sprinting speed to have a, a, a more, uh, more tension in the spring itself. Uh, the boots themselves, uh, I did all of the uh, design for it myself, uh, and my friend Carl Ricciatelli did all the carbon fiber molding himself in his studio apartment. Uh, we down here, we have uh, aircraft grade aluminium, uh, and at the bottom of the toe, you just got a, a piece of a, a mountain bike tire that's been glued to the bottom. True maker fashion. All part of the wearables aspect. Uh, this uh, a lightweight mountain bike helmet with uh, a visual uh, goggle here, a head-up display designed by Zeal Goggles. Um, they have a, a display inside here that gives you uh, the speed if you're at an altitude, distance runs. Uh, basically another aspect to the, the wearables uh, definition itself. Uh, hopefully in the future this will all be incorporated to uh, be able to give your power output if you had an enhanced mechanism of running. Uh, first time in New York Maker Faire, I've been to the original Maker Faire in San Mateo for the past few years and I go every year there. It's a marvelous experience. How does it feel to be here? Uh, it's truly spectacular. I'm meeting you know, everyone that's a maker here and also all the participants. Hopefully inspiring young kids seeing what, you know, what could be possible uh, from an idea when you're young uh, to what, where I have it today. And hopefully I want to bring these to New York, uh, do a little test run and rush our traffic down Manhattan. So uh, we'll be there later in the week. We're, we're in this guy right here.